Hey guys, it's Mario from Anime Chat Reviews, and today's review will be on Fantasy Star Online 2. I do hope you enjoy it. So, in 2016, a 12 episode adaptation series called Fantasy Star Online 2 aired between January and March of that year. And it was good? Hmm, let's talk about that. Just a quick message before I begin, if you don't like what I have to say during the review, please leave a comment below and I'll happily discuss it. And of course, if you appreciate what I have to say, please leave a like and how about subscribing, it's free. So come on, what do you have to lose? The whole concept of this anime is pretty straightforward. It is another online MMO RPG type of anime, similar to Sword Art Online, but they can actually log out and use a desktop or a laptop to play it. Fantasy Star Online 2 is an action-oriented game and features various selections of avatars, weapon types, and play styles for the player to choose from. It is the hottest game around Sega Academy, and everyone knows about the game, except for Izuki Tachibana, who does not play games at all, although he has other good qualities. If you've already seen the anime Sword Art Online, Log Horizon, or have played an RPG before, then you're already familiar with the style of anime. As I watched the first episode, it reminded me of the first online game anime show I saw during my childhood which was Ragnarok the animation, but the settings, visuals and graphics are far too different compared to today. If you love playing online games and are hoping to see what a game would look like if turned into an anime, then this is a show for you. The story of this anime revolves around Itsuki Tachibana, an average high school student who attends Sega Academy with his friends in his third year. He is a notable student who gets good grades, has perfect attendance, is an athlete and very friendly. Izuki's competence helps to attract the attention of the student council president, Rina Izumi. She one day invites Izuki to visit her in a student council room. Rina then suddenly nominates Izuki as Sega Academy's student council vice president, then proposes the order to play the game called Fantasy Star Online 2. Since the game is an MMORPG, Rina wants to know if it is affecting the students negatively. However, Izuki has to learn first how to play the game, and for some reason he believes he'll be able to perform this well, just like he does in school. Now that we've established the plot, it's time to look deeper and enter the world of Fantasy Star Online 2. We then have our characters. Itsuki Tachibana, our main protagonist and ordinary third year high school student, attends Sega Academy. Since he is a good student and athlete, the student council president appoints Itsuki as Sega Academy's student council vice president. He is tasked to play an MMORPG titled Fantasy Star Online 2. In PSO2, his avatar is named Izuki, who is actually randomly generated and shows a striking resemblance to his real life self. So he decides to just go along with it. We then have Rina Izumi, the Sega Academy's pitch perfect student council president. Everyone in the school adores her and looks up to her because she is known to be smart, athletic, beautiful, graceful, and a strong leader. Yada 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 yada, generic student council president. Let's continue. In the game, her character name is Soro, a self-proclaimed veteran who plays with Izuki and helps him learn more about the game. We then have Aika Suzuki, a mysterious transfer student who becomes a student of Sega Academy. She's attractive and becomes popular in the classroom, although she always follows Izuki everywhere for some reason. In PSO2, she is also a veteran, the same as Soro. And just like Izuki, she bears a striking resemblance to her avatar. Of course, there are other characters to mention in this anime, but I feel like these were the main three. Unlike in other anime, <coughs> Berserk 2016, there is a good blend of CG and 2D animation during the game that is not distracting for the rest of the visuals. Again, Berserk from 2016, this is how you do CG. The colors of the characters and monsters are just fine in detail, although they feel generic as a whole. The background is kind of blurry, even in game. It is not clear enough and it makes the character feel not connected to the setting. The dark theme inside the game is fair, but during the battle scenes or emergencies, it makes the edges or borders of the screen darker and is a bit disturbing. Additionally, if you focus clearly on their movements, sometimes it looks so unnatural and stiff. The lighting or brightness in the game are sometimes unbalanced, and the dark slash light contrasts are opposing to each other. It just seems weird. Now onto our soundtrack. The opening title, Matchless Stargate by Shota Ai, is good. The intro is so calm and smoothing, and in a few seconds, the real music begins with a soft rock beat. The chorus is wonderful as you listen, because it really binds together with the opening animation. However, the ending theme is the opposite, and makes you feel like a toddler or kindergartner. The music is just somewhat childish. The soundtrack and its effects are normal as in the game in the anime, the gunshot sounds, slashes of the sword and other effects are just nothing interesting. Fantasy Star Online 2 is a normal anime based MMORPG game. You can only easily relate to it if you've already seen Log Horizon, Overlord or Sword Art Online. The story of this series is different from the mentioned above anime though, since it's originally based off a real online game. The story is predictable in many ways, even the first episode doesn't really feel like it's part of a solid plot. What I mean by that is the plot is not properly explained, but the story slowly progresses on later episodes, thankfully. The characters are also generic and have predictable behaviour. All are fairly decent looking though, 
but not to the extent of characters from other MMORPG anime. The art and animation, as mentioned before, is okay, and thankfully they made a good move when it came to the use of CG, which a lot of anime gets so goddamn wrong. So with that said, I'll have to give this anime a C rating. As explained, there were some good qualities and bad ones, although if you're not really interested in the MMORPG sort of anime, then I suggest going somewhere else. Thanks for watching the video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be on here if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out, and hopefully we we'll see you all again in the next video. Bye bye!